1971, the hippie culture was in full bud in Bucks County. Out of it came the nation's first stoner picture, Arnold's Wrecking Company. It's like people finding a, like an archaeological dig for filmmakers who want to, want to get one of those, uh, oh, did you ever know that back in the first Tarzan movie, you know, well, the first stoner movie was shot in 16 millimeter in Levittown. Mike Renshaw is former executive editor of the Bucks County Courier Times. He starred as Arnold, a nerdy accountant enlisted by local stoners to apply corporate discipline to their pot sales and become millionaires. It was really ahead of its time. I mean, this was before Cheech and Sean. I mean, this was, you know, the, nobody was, the only thing that really related, I think, at that time to, uh, to marijuana cult movies was Reefer Madness. The movie was written and directed by Renshaw's close friend and Levittown native, Steve D'Souza, who would go on to write, produce, and direct many Hollywood mega hits like 48 Hours, Die Hard, and Commando. It was D'Souza's first movie. It's uh, certainly a snapshot uh, of, uh, of our lives at the time. D'Souza plays Kenny. The film satirizes corporate pretense, including the bane of corporate life, the Employee Awards Dinner. It spoofs self-congratulatory industrial films with the story of dope. And uh, independent of your feeling of whether, uh, uh, of the drug policy at the time, you know, funny is funny. And again, a lot of this comedy here is, you know, has its roots in like, you know, Laurel Hardy. I mean, there's some, you know, you know, out and out, you know, slapstick and, and, and sight gags uh, in the film. Local places are backdrops from the interior of Jim Flannery's airplane restaurant in Pendell to the newsroom of the Bucks County Courier Times, which doubles as a police station. There is also Valley Road in the Violetwood section of Levittown where D'Souza lived. The row of for sale signs as Kenny pulls up to the home of a black family. That's D'Souza's kind of jab at Levittown not accepting the Myers family kind of thing. D'Souza cast the film with locals. Gene Beck owned the largest funeral home in Levittown. Hardy Mincer was a Philadelphia TV reporter. Eddie Henderson was a musician. And scene stealer Byron Shower was active in local community theater. He also played Igor on Dr. Shock's Horror Theater in Philadelphia. Almost nobody else went on to be continue to be in front of the camera. So, uh, uh, you know, maybe we should have had a different casting director besides me. The real work of Arnold's Wrecking Company begins. Reviews were mixed. Movie critics in the early 1970s were uneasy with a film that satirized drug culture, but the film won the Audience Choice Gold Medal Special Jury Prize at the Atlanta Film Festival. D'Souza struck a deal with a distributor who promptly went broke. So it played maybe seven or eight theaters uh, and then vanished. But he was given a movie offer. The sequel to Deep Throat, how or why they saw this movie and how or why they thought that, you know, I was the guy to do Deep, Deep Throat 2 from that. Uh, I, I don't know. Arnold's Wrecking Company, an indie gem, is unique because what was once taboo is now accepted by middle America. There are people in this millennium, their states have legalized marijuana and even uh, medical marijuana is here in Pennsylvania. So everything is changing. It's, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's, you know it's, it's, it's coming full circle. So that, that which was, was forbidden is now becoming acceptable. As more and more states legalize weed and companies profit from it, it seems like Arnold's Wrecking Company was ahead of its time. Hippie culture may be dead, but not the culture of... Marijuana. Reporting from Bucks County, I'm columnist J.D. Mullane.